Jasmine. Hi there. It's Martin and Nick, and we're going to go through this Lime Clough Way property. I've already had a quick look through it. It's very interesting. So let's get into it. The uh, now I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do a scoring as we go. Oops. So. Uh, so this. Uh, going on it's all going crazy i think i need to do this intro again it's okay we can get so she, she can watch quick with it <laughs> okay jasper you can see us floundering uh yeah you can see that it's not quite so fun you know when we do these things there's actually a lot of tabs and other stuff that we have to set up and all of that so um you know, it's like about five minutes of prep before every before every assessment. So what the plan is, just so you know, we're going to do this scoring thing as we go. It helps everyone, us included, just make sense of of the property and how we like it. It's a weighted score. So certain things are really very important, like is the yield good? Is the capital growth good? But what's not so important is we don't care so much about the selling time because it's just not such we know it'll sell because it's a good deal fundamentally because the yield and capital growth are good you see so that's how the weighting works okay let's get into the condition assessment now this looks like a 1980s or 90s no, house no, uh, 1996 there you go 90s 90s property lovely and as with a, modern, a lot of modern properties it's quite small so the floor plan what's the epc on that martin C epc floor plan See how many square meters? Three sixty fifty-nine. Yeah. yeah, so these places they're nice, but they're tight. So they're they're well they're well organized as floor plans go. So you have like uh at least here you've got extra space in the conservatory, but it's a it's an optimized, well thought out floor plan, which is fine. Anyway, getting back to the photos. There is a 3D tour on this, so we're going to have a look through the Vibra stuff, then the 3D thing, and just I look at various condition issues. I can say right now off the bat, carpets need changing. It needs general painting and decorating. Kitchen is actually quite good. The, I mean, I, you might the change the hob and put an induction unit there, leave the oven alone, put new handles in, you know, just basics. Conservatory looks all right and it's it all looks fine there are no weird cracks or anything like that bathroom probably put a new loo seat on it because usually those wooden loo seats the hinges go after a while and they kind of wobble around but you you know you might put a new power shower in there and and maybe just optimize the bathroom a bit but it, it just depends the good thing is it's epcc which is uh which is good it's nice and yeah and i want to add that this property uh, it's the same as it's built in 1996. Oh, right, so it hasn't been touched. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it looks like that. So, because okay. I, I checked the historical historical picture from the last selling it, when it was built, so it's basically the same. So they don't, they don't touch, just, they just care about the property. Okay. But they already looks fine. So. Good. So the next thing just to say is this garden is overlooked. In other words, it's probably quite dark. And the reason I say that is because you look at the grass, it's quite mossy. So uh, it's just a thing. It's, it's so that the bright side of the house is really the front and you're overlooked by these rather tall trees. I don't know whether they belong to the property. I suspect I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Martin, whilst I'm chattering away, could you just check the Google Maps? And yeah, see, if check. You, see if you can have a look and see a two things. Can you just check the plot area and see if the trees are on this side of the fence? There may not be because you can see here the trees are on that side of the fence, but it's no, worth no, checking. No, it's not. OK, so it's on the neighbor's yeah, I, side. I will check again. But OK, we'll have a look. Yeah. All right, so let's just carry on. So we're going to have a quick look at the videos now. <coughs> it here because, through the door. Hmm? It have through the door. Yeah, we're going to go into that in more detail. So I'm just going to whiz through this just in case there's anything. The great thing about these kind of properties is they're they're good. So you've got a bit of well, tiny crack in the thing there. That's fine. Slates you could do with just getting rid of the moss on that. 
Now that's also quite interesting, there being moss on that side. Uh, we'll have a look at the Google Maps in a minute. I just want to see what axis the property is on, whether it's east, west or whatever. And we've got a nice loft hatch in. And here we are here. There's that back garden. And there are the trees and it's classic kind of 90s styles in this place. So, yeah, it's never been done, but that's OK. The fundamentals of this property are actually very good. So I think the double glazing should be OK. We've got a circuit board, it, the RCD board. It might need upgrading. I'm not sure. I think possibly not. But anyway, carrying on. Um, and. I, yeah. I, when, when I did the assessment, I said that it will rent for 725, but it will rent 750 at least, 775. Yeah, so I think with this, there are just a few details, like gas hobs are fine. In, in fact, this is fine. Oddly, oddly enough, you could probably get away with just leaving this here, but if you wanted to just bring it up a little bit, change the gas hob to, to a conduction, um, electric um, conduction one. Anyway, the conservatory looks OK. It's the usual story, cold in the winter, hot in the summer, but it's nice to have the doors and and all of that and in the garden. And here we go. The bricks looks nice. So yeah, so the garden's just a bit kind of so. So you've got nice concrete tiles. That roof is good for a long time. And then let's have a look. What do we got here? And this is the outside. Sorry if you're getting a bit kind of car sick with all this roller coaster as it, uh, you'll be able to watch the videos anyway yourself in your own time. All right, nice area, nice roads around, nice cars. Cars are important because when you see nice new cars, whoops, like the one, the black and white car back there, these are people who've got cars on leases, so the middle class people and they can afford, which is nice. Just, it's all good. Okay, so let's just get into this 3D tour. And I'm going to just zip through this because you can check it out later. I've already had a had a well, you know, I've had a quick look. But the thing about these kind of properties is there's n there is no problem because they're new. They haven't subsided. They're they're, they're built. Properly. Yeah, I prefer new build than old. Yeah, they're just better, aren't they? There's the walls yeah. are straight and everything's warm and yeah. You know, yeah, they don't yield perfectly, but they are much better pro property. And I think for a lot, yeah, exactly. For long term avoidance of hassle, they're great. And there's that kitchen. It looks bigger than it is because, you know, you get all these three, this kind of 3D zoomy zoomy stuff. But overall, um, it's not big, it's small ish, but it's OK for a two bed property. It's actually not too bad. And you could probably, presumably there's plugs here for double height fridge. Nice. I think this will be a very wanted property, actually. And there we go. Nice little conservatory. Oh, and you got the benefit of a garden shed. Super. All right. It, it's all um, it's all good. There we go. There's that action in the back. Right. So, so far, zero surprises, which is great. Just it needs new carpets. And it's funny how fashions change. You know, these carpets, that color, so popular in the day. And it just has kind of 1990s all over it. The colors, the some of the features and so on. All the rads look good. Double glazing looks good. I don't think it's blown. And even if it has, it's it's uh, this is where you get condensation between the panes of glass. And I don't think it's got that. Good, good, good. All right. Good, 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 good. OK, so this is all good. Yeah, yeah. And it has and storage yeah. in, the, in both bathroom, bathrooms, so, so that's good. So now we're just going to get into the capital growth thing. And uh, so actually, you know what? I'm just going to give score it up. So for scoring, I would give it a uh, so 4.5. Yeah, well, it's not perfect. It's not walk in, but it's like fundamentally it's a good good um but in good condition. it's a new build so anything will not be bad, yeah so it's so. definitely a four uh let's go 4.25 yeah. shall we okay so we <laughs> say 4.25 because we're averaging out martin's score and my score obviously 
Now, in this area, let's have a look. Bit of crime. Um, but a lot of new builds around, you can see. I love yeah, that this is a huge, this is a huge deal. Uh, this is actually high street crime, by the way. There's going to be a shop or something nearby. Yeah, there is shops on two sides of the main road. So basically it's a... Yeah, this is a super quiet road. And the reason we know this is because one crime every two months. It's very good. Now, in respect to the demographic, it is, it is your classic kind of upper middle 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 class area so in other words it's not rich it's just where nice middle class people managers people like that that's where they go and live and quite a lot of rented which is encouraging 18 percent very little social rented good so so this and is a, a lot of new builds a lot of new builds yeah that's this is very strong on um, new builds are like the reason new builds are wonderful is because it's someone with a lot of money saying i'm betting this is going to work and going through a long process to invest a lot of money in a place and and you know make it work so now if we look at the capital growth over time the story here is that it uh it's got lots of headroom so as you probably are aware if i go capital growth and we'll just have a quick look at this. So the way this goes is that we have property cycles. There have been eight of them. In fact, I think I would argue there have been nine property cycles. I need to update this image. There, there have probably been nine property cycles, but this one, a rather weak one, back in the First World War. So the First World War kind of disrupted things a little bit, as you'd imagine. But anyway, that, that aside, even after the Second World War, property peak. So the point is, it goes in cycles. We're in the boom phase. And in the boom phase, what happens is that areas in central, like Stockport and these kind of areas, they get overbought and people are trying to find value further out. And that's exactly what's going to go, what's going on here. So the upshot is that this patch, not this patch, this patch where, where you're looking, is most likely going to grow substantially over the next four years to the end of the market. So what? how much? Well, let's have a quick look. I'll tell you now. So we think M24. Um, it's going to make it a bit smaller. Well, it's one of the strongest growing areas in the country right now. That's one thing. Certainly 9% of areas are stronger than it. And overall, yeah, so this, so if you say this is inflation adjusted, so we're saying that if you account for inflation at say 5% a year, then I predict in four years time, it's going to go 15% above rate of inflation. So in other words, 45%. So that's a lot. So we assume 5% um, growth a year, roughly 45%. So what does that mean in effect? This is just a this property is likely to go up to oh easy i think this is a 220 230000 pound property all day long in 4 years time all day, easily that and this will bid up so i think this will bid up to 170 minimum and i think it will i think just based on projections uh it, yeah, I see it as a £230,000 property in four years' time. That's in nominally. Uh, that's a lot. But there's a lot of good reasons for that. So, And we talked about that. And so the, the growth numbers around here are very solid overall. And I think there's a lot of potential for growth here because this is a good neighbourhood. Now, there's quite a lot of social housing and so on and so forth. But as th this is essentially a very strong enclave with more social housing down here. But you know, people want value. So that's that. Over to you, Martin. Hi, Jasmine. And I'll share my screen and I will go for a plot. Like because there are this like one plot and it should be uh, absolutely so are, off. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this number is 70, 40, 47. So this said uh, the 31, 35, and 47 on growth. 
we need to check out this so don't worry about that now this is the last sale is the same as it's yeah now. it's identical isn't it yeah how much did uh, you go for last time out of interest uh, yeah it was built 52 Oh, yeah. But in 1996, so... Yeah, so that you would double that. So in today's money, that's roughly £100,000. And then yeah. the rest is just capital growth. Because yeah. Manchester is this great economic engine that just works. Yeah, and I, I really like when I see property, see, I, I mm. like... See it's not good. Yeah, so basically what you can see, the walls are good, roof is nice, windows are good. So everything is good with property. I, you don't, maybe you need to improve this lighting but so you will save 13 so what, what do you say about the location and the area and the, yeah, yeah. Know, all of that yeah uh, uh, the location in the area because it's have a lot of new build almost all of them are like not more than 20 years old properties and a lot of new 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 builds coming so and just because it doesn't have really huge supermarket nearby mm -hmm. that's why i will not give five but all the rest is perfect all right, so what are you saying on location then? What are you going to give that? 4.5. Okay, and Maybe what I... about the area as a whole? 4. Like as in a nice area? Uh, because of new builds, it will be even better, but right now it's 4. But because of new builds, when, the, when will be settle up, when we will build, it will be 4.5 at least. All right, as now me. what about what about yield and then what about yeah. price? Yeah, so I, I, I said about the, it will print 775, 750, as you can see, on for 850, but I will not be that optimistic for 850 because mm. it's more newer property. But That's it's, punchy, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's too much. So what are we saying then, 775, so what, what price do you think this property would sell for? Yeah, this is our like 180, uh, this is older property, this 180, 150, but this, so, yeah. So, but this that was the asking price, not the sold price. So, mm. 170, at least 170 will. Uh, I will not surprised it will be sell for 180, but I think that's too much. Okay. Uh, so, I will not bid more than 177. Okay. And what? Um, just, just very quickly. Yeah, so yeah. We're on yeah, a schedule. Think, so, yeah, so, what's the yield on that? So, 775. So. 177 this is maximum what i will bid it will be 5.25 it yes, will be yeah but for new build is excellent but if you take it for 172 let's say 775 uh, one, uh, 1772 it will give five sorry point. seven as long as it's above 5.2 then you can max out on loan to value yeah so five Okay, so, so if you share my screen very quickly. So if you take it for 170, uh, 2, the 5. All right, so what do we say in terms of the price? You know, it, it's a weird one with value because, you know, it's expensive now, but it'll be cheap later if that makes sense. So I'm going to give it a 3.5 on value. I think it, it's basically there. Now, yield, I, I'm going to give it a anything above 5.2 or thereabouts is acceptably good and, and you know it's like yield is kind of binary in a way because if you go below five percent it just gets difficult so i'm going to give it a 3.5 on yield and Same. that gives us a 4.09 that's actually a really good score by the yeah. way just we, don't, we don't score properties often more than four so yeah that's actually a pretty high score uh, it's rare and the reason it's so strong is because it's the new build in an area with crazy like capital growth is very strong the yield will improve with time uh, it's thoroughly rentable it's thoroughly sellable it's got good demographics crime is really low it's a nice area in a good location and in good condition so and a lot of new build it yeah. will rent so fast and a lot of people will want to live here all right, so let's just finalize. Then, uh, what what do you suggest the maximum offer would be? One seven seven, but okay. I will not go with that now. All right, I will wait one. So what what one would you do next? Seven to one seven two dot five between these, just okay. to check, so check the market. Have a really good think about it all. 
let us know what you want to do. I'll speak if you do want to offer, I'll speak to the agent first thing in the morning and we'll go through all the back and forth and just make sure you're around on WhatsApp so I can talk to you and let you know where we're at. And then if good, we make the offer. So, all right, thank you very much.